6.3 day one, we're going to look at logarithms and logarithmic functions. Before we look at logarithms, we want to take a look at exponentials versus logarithm functions, so hopefully get the understanding of what logarithms are. So looking um, at these values here, we can actually find the values of 2 to the x, because we've done practice on that before, and we've graphed it before. So let's just fill in these values first of all. We know 2 to the 0 is 1, 2 to the first power is 2, 2 squared is 4, and then we know 2 to the negative 1, that means it becomes a reciprocal, which is 1 half, and then 2 to the negative 2 would be 1 to the fourth power. Now let's take a look at the graph on Desmos. So I did graph the log function here, it's in the blue here, and so notice that when log base 2 is uh, negative 2, the y value is negative 2, we get 0 0.25, which is a fourth. Then at negative 1, we notice that it is a half. At 0, when y is 0, we get x is 1. And then when it is uh, 1, when y is 1, we get x is 2. And then when y is 2, x is 4. So what do you notice about that? So hopefully you notice that in this case that the x and the y values are flipped, right? They're switched, and we saw that before in the previous chapter. Um, so we know that the x and y coordinates are switched. And so here, we get, let me give you these values here. So at 0, we're at 1. At 1, it is 10. At 2, we're at 100, right? 10 squared is 100. That negative, that's 1 over 10. At 2, that is 1 over 100. And I can tell you that if you were to graph this, you will find the same exact answers here where it would flip the x and y values are switched. So do, if you remember from the last section, we remember what that means. It means that our log and our exponential functions are inverses of each other. So you know that 2 squared equals 4 and 2 cubed equals 8. However, for what value of x is 2x equals 6? Mathematicians define this x value using what's called a logarithm. And they would write x equals log base 2 of x. So the definition of logarithm with base b, let b and y be positive real numbers with b not equal to 1. The logarithm of y with base b is denoted by log base b, log base b of y. And it's defined as log base b of y equals x. This is true if and only if b to the x equals y. And so this should look familiar to us from our exponentials. This definition tells you that the equations log base b of y equals x and b to the x equals y are equivalent. So first, we need to uh, have it clear what the logarithm form is. Logarithm form has a log in it. Log base b of y equals x, and that's how you read it. Now you say that. And then exponential form is b to the x equals y. I want you to notice where the x is. Okay, so really important to note that logarithms, logarithms equal the exponent. So, so whenever we're trying to, we're going to rewrite these in a second. So knowing that logs equal the exponent, look where it is in the exponential form. And so when we're trying to rewrite things, that'll help us out. So the base is here, b, and this is our base here. And then that last value is the y here. Okay, so just knowing where each of those pieces are. So let's try this, rewriting logarithmic equations into exponential form. So we're going to identify the base, the input, and the output. So the base is just this number down here, so log base 2, for example. So we know that the base is 2, so we write 2, that's the base, and then x is the exponent, right? Our exponent, remember, logs equal exponent. So therefore, you write 4 here, and then it equals what's left over, which is the y value, which is 16. And then you double check, does that make sense? Is 2 to the 4 16? If that's true, then you know you wrote it correctly. So try one more. I'll try one more with this. So log base 4, 1 equals 0. So 4 is the base. The exponent logs equal the exponent, which is 0. 
And then the y value is the one inside 1. Is 4 to the 0 1? Yes, it is. So go ahead and try the rest of these. And when you come back, I'll have the answers for you. So trying this out, we see that you should have gotten 12 to the first equals 12, right? The base is 12. The exponent's 1 equals 12. Then you get 1 fourth raised to the negative 1 equals 4, and that's true. Log base 2 of 32 equals 5 is 2 to the fifth equals 32. 6 to the third equals 216. 7 to the 0 equals 1. 21 to the first power equals 21. And 1 fifth to the negative 1 equals 5. Now let's go the other direction, rewriting exponential equations into log form. So identify the base. We know the base is 5. So our base is 5. So what we write is log base 5, and then we know it equals the exponent. So maybe you want to do that first. So I know that the exponent goes here, and then whatever's left goes inside right there. Okay, so that's kind of one way that I look at it. So let's do number 1 together. 0 0.1, let's rewrite that. That is really 1 over 10. So looking at that, uh, let's see if we can rewrite this. Log, the base is this number here, which is 10, equals the exponent. So negative 1, and then this y value here goes in this place here, 1 over 10. We try one more to help us out. So 8 to the 2 thirds equals 4. So the base, log base 8, and then it equals the exponent of 2 thirds, and then the y value goes here, 4. So see if you can try the rest of these out. So trying this out, you should have gotten these answers. So log base 8 of 4 equals 2 thirds. Log base 6 of 1 over 216 equals negative 3. Log base 32 of 4 equals 2 over 5. Log base 9 of 89, 81 equals 2. Log base 20 of 1 over 20 equals negative 1. And log base 16 of 8 equals 3 fourths. And log base 15 of 1 over 225 equals negative 2. So I want to notice, I want you to notice the two special logarithm values, log base 7 of 1 equals 0, and log base 21 of 21 equals 1. So this is true, logarithm of 1. So log base b of 1 equals 0 because b to the 0 equals 1. Then log base b of b equals 1 because b to the first power equals b. These are really important properties that we are going to use later on in this chapter. So just um, notice these things on here.